I want to show you how to make the ultimate winter dessert, an apple and cinnamon souffle. Now, of course, the first thing a souffle needs is a nice hot oven. 190 degrees, fan force. We're going to start by making the flavour base for our souffle. So I need about a tablespoon of caster sugar, some corn flour and cinnamon into a small saucepan. Of course, you can use any sweet spice you like. You could use nutmeg or cardamom, delicious as well. And finally, half a cup of the Three Threes apple sauce. I love this stuff. It's beautiful in desserts, really nice for savoury cooking as well. So it's about half a jar. If you whisk it together while it's cold, you won't end up with lumps in your corn flour. And we're just going to bring it up to the simmer, which is going to help that base thicken. Now we're going to separate our eggs. Always crack your egg onto a clean surface. You get a nice clean crack that way. We want the whites into a large bowl, and then the yolks are going to go in with our apple mixture. Stir your yolks into the apple mixture until it's combined, and then we're going to whisk our egg whites to soft peaks. Now that's holding a peak, I can start whisking the rest of my caster sugar. Now we've worked really hard to get air into the meringue mixture, right? And the actual apple and egg yolk mixture is quite dense. So the first thing you'd want to do is just get a little bit of that meringue mixture and pop it into your bowl and just mix that in. That'll lighten it up and make it easier to combine back into the egg whites without knocking out all the air. Now this lightened apple mixture goes into the rest of the meringue. I've greased a couple of ramekins here and I'm just going to add a little bit of extra caster sugar and turn it around so you get this really fine but even layer of caster sugar, which is going to help give a little bit of friction, stop the souffle sticking, but actually help it kind of climb up and rise nice and evenly as well. Now we're going to fill up our ramekins and the key is put them right to the top and then flatten them off so you know it's really nice and even, which means they should rise evenly. Now into the oven till they're risen and golden brown. We're going to serve our souffles with whipped cream and maple syrup.